everyone, welcome to SME Adventures. Um, we've got Darren and my beautiful wife Belinda on the other end of the camera there. Just want to introduce you to Collie, the Colorado. Um, this is going to be our tow vehicle for our next surprise that's coming up hopefully in a few weeks. Just want to talk about a few things that we've done to the Colorado. We picked this up second hand in November. Um, it's a 2015 RG Colorado uh, Z71. It's a 2.8 turbo diesel, an automatic, um, beautiful car, it's got the leather seats, the heated seats that my wife loves, um, especially during winter and the long trips. Um, we do on average around about 800 k's a week in this car for work at the moment, um, so we need to upgrade to a reliable um, turbo diesel. We went with the Colorado uh, and I'm a massive Holden man, unfortunately they don't make them anymore. But the parts for these are readily available, so yeah, this was our choice. Um, what we've done to it since we've got it, uh, the Rhino 4x4 bar was on the car when we purchased it. It's a good steel bar, it only protects the lower parts though, it hasn't got the hoops or anything like that, but it's pretty stylish. It is a winch bar. Um, we do have the, the points for the front for hooking up our um, D-shackles. I've got a pair of um, 7 inch XTM, XTM sorry, LED spotlights uh, which work really well do a lot of night driving and then your standard fog lights that come with the car um, moving up one thing I will pick on the Colorado's about is the decals on the front um, you can probably see it's got a bit of a like a snake skin feel happening to it with the heat um, out west the temperatures get you know 45 plus and it's starting to peel a little bit so if anyone's got any ideas on how to fix that or how to prevent that from happening please uh, drop us a comment below and um, yeah, we'll love your feedback on that um, moving around to this side we're running the, the GM GME CB it's another new addition we've put onto the car recently uh, we went with the short stubby aerial just for the look of it uh, we had to modify the bracket to fit in Colorado bonnets are a little bit different to most others um, so that fits really well. I did put in a little bit of a foam insert in here to stop this wrap dashboard. Um, we got this GME radio online um, due to COVID. We can't do a lot of face-to-face um, -face shopping at the moment, as you'd know. But we bought that online through Dick Smith Electronics. Um, can't remember the price off the top of my head, but it was a decent price. And um, yeah, we'll drop a price in the comments below as well. Standard Z71 rims and tyres. We've gone with a Toyo Open Country on the front. They're an all-terrain tyre. Um, they're working really well at the moment. We did have some um, Kumo mud tyres that were on it originally. With the corrugated roads that I do drive on, I flog them tyres out pretty quick because the, the shock absorbers failed. So I've gone with a heavy-duty set of 4x4 shocks. We've had no dramas with the front tyres since then. Still running the Kumo mud terrains on the on the back end at the moment, but we'll probably go to the Toyo Open Countries when we get around to it. Uh, we've gone with the, the San Hema towing mirrors um, online, eBay. Reason why we went with these uh, price basically, the clear views were up around the seven eight hundred mark plus. We like the MSAs because they were smaller and they did drop down. I couldn't justify the $900 price tag or thereabouts for the MSAs. San Hemas, um, I got to think it was $400 for the pair. Um, they've got the towing mirrors, easy pull out for when you're towing the wide loads, whether it's your caravan or horse float, anything like that. Um, electronic adjusted, side indicators, they're a pretty good mirror. And to fit, believe it or not, 15 minutes for the pair. Um, remove the door skin on them on the Colorados, three screws, a couple of snap locks, pull it off and then drop this in, um, didn't take too long at all. So we apologise for the noise in the background as well, um, old mate's mowing his lawn across the road. So moving on, we've also got the Adventure Kings awning from Four Wheel Drive Super Centre. Um, you're probably all familiar with these, two and a half metre by two and a half metre. They're on sale anywhere from, I think they're about 120 bucks up depending on if you buy it with a kit with the side walls or LED lights and everything like that. What we use it for, it's perfect. Um, I've always gone with the King's 
just because I like the affordability and the quality has definitely improved over the years as well. On the Colorados, on the Z71s, very stylish attraction. Um, they make them look a little bit beefy in my mind, in my opinion. Um, I like them. Uh, we do have some other plans moving forward, we'll talk about later. Uh, we'll move around to the back. It's a bit of a party end of the deal. Um, we recently installed a King's um, jaw set. Now this is the, the bigger one that you can actually purchase. That's not the 900, I think it's 1350 off the top of my head. Um, we've gone with the stainless steel fold out as well. Awesome for um, prepping meals on, making a sandwich if you're out and about on the trails. Also got a beer opener. So that's um, worth its money right there. You can just open your beer. You're never long looking around for a bottle opener. Also got a couple little tags here to hang your um, tongs when you're cooking your barbecues and things like that. Um, yeah, we rate it. It's pretty good. Um, in the drawer, we basically keep the bare necessities. I've got a, another four-wheel drive Supercenter um, tyre repair kit. Now, there's plenty of these on the market. They range from about $25 up to about $90, depending what brand you buy. <clears throat> these kits are pretty good. They've got everything in them. They've got the tyre valves. You've got your, I call it your hole opener, whatever you want to call it. If there's a technical name for it, drop a comment below. Uh, we've got your, your lube. And we've also got your valve tool and glues and patches and a whole bunch of bits and pieces in there. So it's a really good kit for the price. I think about $35, $40 off 4 Drive Super Center. Um, folds away, goes into the drawer nice and neat. Uh, we've also got fire extinguisher inside there. I highly rate, guys, ladies and gentlemen, always have a fire extinguisher handy. Um, we've had to use one camping before. Um, for an emergency, we had to use multiple fire extinguishers for a, another campsite that had some difficulties. Um, so I definitely rate having a fire extinguisher and a decent first aid kit. As we mentioned, I do a lot of K's on the road, um, so I've got a, a, an advanced trauma first aid kit there if we do come across a serious uh, motor vehicle accident on the highway. All my recovery gears in the pockets on the side. Uh, we've got snatch straps, D-shackles, um, tree protectors, winch extension straps, the whole kit and caboodle in these little pockets here. Um, a few other little bits and pieces, our, our bag for our recovery gear as well. Haven't got a winch yet, again another modification we'll be doing down the, down the track. Uh, moving up to the side. Um, kick ass products. I will touch on them a little bit, been on the market for a few years. Uh, they've, they've hit the market pretty hard with the quality of gear and the price. It's really good. This is a shower tent. You've probably seen them all before. Um, I know 4 Drive Supercenter now have them on the market as well. But if you're going out on the tracks for a day or an overnighter, the girls can get changed in the shower tent. You can hook up your little battery operated cigarette lighter um, shower with a little 20 litre bucket of water. And then um, the guys or girls can have a shower in that. Bit of privacy, top idea. Um, I got them on sale, I got two for 300 a couple of years ago, uh, around Christmas time they come on sale. We had one on our old, on the old vehicle that we had, and this is the other one here. It takes about, for me, about 15 seconds to set up. Um, and Bonnie, our 12 going on 18 year old daughter, she, um, she can set it up on her own in about 20 seconds as well, so pretty easy. Again, the Sanhema towing mirrors. You seen on the other side they extend out nice big surface areas uh, for visibility all ele electronic controlled inside um, good addition <clears throat> now for those guys that know us they know of recent events why I've got a snorkel and I'll tell you why we've got a snorkel cheap insurance all right um, did some pricing up the Safari snorkel fitted from a local four-wheel drive aftermarket accessory mob was 800 bucks. This one I got from OCAM 4x4 online, uh, just shy of $200 and installed it myself. Those guys did a really good price, the service was good, we had it ordered from Sydney within two days. The biggest thing I was looking for with this was the template. The template had to be a really good 
um, good copy, it wasn't just on paper, it was a nice thick bit of cardboard and the template was spot on. So when we put the template on, please measure three or four times before you drill into them. Um, you are drilling into the quarter panel, make sure your holes line up and everything before you actually drill into your quarter panel. Very easy to install, took me roughly about two and a half hours to remove some of the old stuff, run the nice tube inside up under the guard liner, you've just got a flex tube that comes into your airbox here. Um, we had an incident a couple of weeks ago where, let's say poor road conditions out west, um, some water on the road and we got water up um, into the engine. We were very, very lucky that we didn't get a hydro lock, um, but it actually turned out to be a faulty intake pipe that was broken or snapped and it allowed water to get up into the intake, which um, stopped me on a dime. NRMA Roadside Assistance, um, hats off to those guys for helping us out in the middle of nowhere and they looked after us. Got the car back on the road within a week and it was Medlands Auto Service out in parks. Uh, those guys did a fantastic job. Uh, they had the car for a week while I was at work. Uh, minimal charge, sorted everything out, uh, dropped everything to have a look at our car for us and get us back on the road. So hats off to those guys out at parks. Um, just going up to the roof now, we've got a King's light bar mounted up onto the roof racks. Uh, you'll see that we've just got the harness going down the left hand side of the vehicle. Tried to hide it away as much as we can. But uh, we've got the wiring going on down to the, um, the relays and whatnot under the bonnet. Took me again probably about an hour to install that. But um, works well out in the country. Open roads, you need as much lighting as you can get because we're dealing with uh, pigs, emus, all sorts of weird and wonderful wildlife. I'm um, running the Rhino rack roof bars, the crossbars. We got them locally from Auto One in town. Again, another easy install. Took approximately about half an hour once I tweaked them to the right size, the right distance apart and uh, you come with all the accessories, or you can get the accessories to mount awnings on, light bars, um, max tracks, the whole kit and caboodle that you need for your roof racks. We went with roof racks for the moment. Uh, we did look at the platforms, the Rhino flat platforms. Uh, price, you know, they're up there. We went with the roof racks just for the time being. Very happy with them. Uh, weight and rating. Look, I'm not sure off the top of my head. We can drop some information below from Rhino, but I think they're around about the 30 to 40 kilos weight rating on the Rhino racks. Um, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, but um, we'll get some more info for you. Inside, we've got a um, couple of switches that we put on for the lights. couple of switches from light force straight off line um, make it all look nice and tidy inside on the dash there very easy to install we're also running as we spoke about the GME um, handheld radio I'm not too sure of the model of that one but it's all tucked up away behind the dash and the handheld piece has the microphone and the speaker all in one. So very happy with that at the moment. Looks tidy. We feel it looks tidy. And um, we'll stick with that. Now, as we mentioned about before... I'll just grab that off your back. As we mentioned before, this will be our tow vehicle. Um, I'll just quickly show you. We are running our Heyman Reese electronic brake controller um, with the weights that we will be towing we definitely have that I believe it's a legal requirement uh, to have an electronic uh, control system in place we had that on our previous caravan it worked well um, oh, what did we pay for that $200 from Auto One again in town uh, that's our Colorado um, that's our pride and joy at the moment. We've done a few mods that we've just walked through. Uh, we're very happy with it. Uh, fuel economy, I'm getting about 800 to 850 kilometers per tank. 
I believe it's got an 80 litre tank in it and I'm um, super happy with it. Now moving forward, we still have some more plans for the, I won't say old girl, she's a 2015 model. But the plans are, we're looking at probably an ARB canopy up the back um, towards the end of the year. And we'll probably MSA drop down fridge slide as well, uh, make it a bit easier for Belinda to access beers and food. So um, that's our plans for that. Pretty much once we get that canopy, I think we're done. I think we're we needed to be. Um, towing, we're running. We're going to be running the DO35 hitch. We'll have more on that later. Um, why we went that way can, compared to your standard tow ball, but uh, the DO35s looks like the way to go. A um, couple extra reversing lights at the back we've installed as well, and this one come. This model comes with the reversing camera um, on the back of the tailgate. Other than that, guys. Yeah, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel. And if you've got any comments regarding this video or other videos, please like them, uh, watch them, share them with your mates, and drop comments below. We would love to hear some um, feedback from you guys. So stay safe on the travels and be good.